Hello beauties, Millie Fox here. I am coming at you to tell you, to talk about three ways that manifestation changed my life. Okay, so before I dive in, I just want to say that manifestation, when I first found out about manifestation, I think it was like, like way back, like around the time that The Secret came out, maybe a little bit before then, I think my dad gifted me a book um, my dad's always like on this leading edge of this awesome woo woo stuff and he always like opens my eyes to really cool stuff so I'm um, really grateful to have him. But what I was going to say is when I first found out about manifestation I was like wow that's cool that's like a really interesting tool like I wonder if it works sounds pretty magical it sounds pretty woo woo like I thought it really just applied to you know manifesting physical things. Um, I didn't understand how far reaching manifestation really is for your entire life. And so what I mean by that is that manifestation is truly a personal development tool. It helps you. Um, and if you take it seriously, it more so like forces you to get to know who you really are. So wait, I'm giving away some of my points already. So let me just start at number one. So number one, the first thing that manifestation changed in my life and more so changed in me was that it helped me let go of being a victim as part of my identity. So what I mean by that is it, it forced me to take radical responsibility for what I was creating inside my life. And, um, you know, I had to renounce my role as a victim to my circumstances, to my external reality, whatever that may be. However harsh it is, we can be victimized, okay? But if we want to be in control of our lives, we cannot hold on to our role as the victim, okay? And then number two, what it did for me was it gave me permission to live in my desires because what you realize when you start studying manifestation is that your desires are given to you for a reason. They are your higher purpose. There's a reason why we get up, get lit up when we're pursuing what we desire, our truest heartfelt soul desires. I'm not talking about our whims and our, um, like our, you know, indulgences like eating too much chocolate. I'm talking about like our soul felt heart led desires for what we want, what lights us up, what gets us excited. So it gave me permission to live in my desires and therefore made me a much happier and more excited person. Okay, and then number three was that it forced me to get clear on what I wanted and therefore who I truly am. Okay, so what that meant for me was that I actually had to give myself permission to of course live in my desires, but to get clear on what those desires were so that I could pursue them and create the life that I really wanted. So I needed to get clear. There was a part of me that wasn't even allowing myself to um, explore my desires because I was like, that's, you know, that's frivolous. Um, there's much more important things that need to be focused on like my to-do list and you know these things that I feel like I should be doing and all these boxes I feel like I should be checking. So those are some really big and impactful ways that manifestation actually changed my life and changed who I am as a person. It made me take responsibility for who I am. It gave me permission to be who I truly am and to get clarity on what I actually wanted my life to look like. So those don't sound like really woo woo uh, things to me. Those sound like some really important things that we all should uh, do and know. So if you like this video, I have something for you. I created um, a, a guide, which is three simple hacks to unblocking your manifestation practice. And you can get that wherever you're watching this video. So I will share the link down below. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Instagram, if you're in email, wherever it is, I'll make sure you get that link. And I will talk to you soon, guys. Love you so much. And don't forget to share in the group or you know in the comments here what it is you are currently manifesting. Bye.